is cybersecurity still a good career in the year of 2025? That's what we're going to be looking at in this video. We're going to be looking at the research, the job market, is the job increasing, is it decreasing, and what role is AI going to have in the future of cybersecurity? Is it going to impact the job market? That's what we're going to be talking about starting right now. So let's go ahead and start out with some simple numbers. In the next two to five years, we are expected to see an increase of 33% in the cybersecurity researcher space, which is actually about 59,000 jobs that are estimated to be created. And this number comes from the US Labor of Bureau and Statistics. From a historical perspective, from the year 2013 to 2015, there have been about 1 million jobs that have gone unfulfilled within the world of cybersecurity, whether that is a cybersecurity analyst or a cybersecurity researcher or other positions within the field, such as penetration testers. So that is something that looks really good if you want to come out and find a job right away. There is a high demand, or at least historically, there has been a high demand that is still pursued to this day. But what's going to happen within the next five years or 10 years? By the year 2030, so in the next five years, the job demand is expected to increase significantly, which we've already covered, but currently from a global perspective, is there a need for cybersecurity researchers on a world stage? So this is beyond just the United States and the answer is yes. It is expected to be the third most popular job in demand in the next five years. So by the year 2030, it is supposed to be the third highest growing skill needed in order to fill positions. To give you an idea of what this means, in the United States, there's currently about 265,000 jobs jobs that are unfulfilled in the cybersecurity space, with the tech space always increasing and growing. But this leads us into the question of, well, what about AI? AI, is it going to actually take away jobs? And the answer is yes, it has already taken away some jobs and it has made some jobs a lot more easy or more productive so that you no longer need 10 people to do a single task. You can have one person do the task of 10 people with the assistance of AI. And that is where I see cybersecurity going in the future. You're gonna to need to know how to integrate AI into your research methods. The thing is, AI is never gonna be able to completely take away cybersecurity because wherever there's humans involved, there's going to be mistakes made. So even though AI may be able to write code, there's gonna to need to be people who implement it and upload it and make a front end, connect to a back end and implement APIs and post and get requests and there's gonna be mistakes made and cybersecurity researchers are always gonna be there in order to find those. Sure, you can use vulnerability scanners, but they're not gonna be able to find everything necessary. So for cybersecurity researchers, you're gonna to need to keep up your skill, stay on top of new vulnerabilities, and we're still gonna be able to find those pages that we're not supposed to have access to certain information. Just for an example, the AI is not going to be implementing the new code. So in my opinion, there is going to be a need for cybersecurity researchers always, but they're gonna to need to know how to use AI effectively. Go ahead and look at the reality of what has been taking place. So we looked at the history and the job market projection, and there are currently 265,000 jobs that are open, but what does that say historically, and what about the year 2025? This year is most likely to give us projection into the future, and there's actually been a decrease in positions in the information security world. For security analysts and research engineers, we have seen about a 25% percent drop from 2024 to 2025 in job postings. So that is not necessarily sticking to what we see historically as the position has typically grown. We're actually seeing a decrease. So while the U.S. Labor of Jobs and Statistics tells us that there's going to be an increase, what we're actually seeing is that there's a decrease in the number of jobs posted. I think this is because one person is able to do the job of five people now with the assistance of AI. So the job demand has decreased. Now, there could be several reasons for why we see the jobs decreasing, and it's most likely not necessarily that the positions are going away, though that could be true, but there's probably a lot less in-house cybersecurity analysts and researchers probably outsourcing to different companies who specialize in information security instead of hiring people on staff. And in the job growth that was mentioned earlier, a lot of those positions are actually revolve around the world of law and legal proceedings, especially within um, privacy and how to keep information safe and what to do within the legal realms. So the role in privacy attorneys is actually growing by about 40% across the United States. And that is actually where a lot of the roles within cybersecurity we see growing 
actually are coming from. So if you actually take out that bit of information, it looks like the position is going to stay pretty steady along the way. It doesn't seem to be increasing or decreasing just yet as of 2024 and 2025. It seems to be pretty consistent. So should you pursue cybersecurity in the year 2025? I think the answer is yes. From what I have looked at and from the actual specific jobs that are being posted, it looks like the world in cybersecurity, so security analysts and cybersecurity researchers tend to be staying about the same that they have the past five years, even with AI coming into the workforce. I do think that you're probably gonna to have to have a more built portfolio because companies are gonna to wanna to be able to see, do you have the skills, can you use AI, as well as the certification. So you're really gonna to have to try to make yourself stand out where there was just a huge need in the 2010 to about 2020. That need is dropping, even though there are still about 265,000 jobs available as of the time of the posting of this video. There are a lot of opportunities, but those opportunities may be dropping in the future. But if you have a passion for cybersecurity, you should definitely try to make your passion your career. So with that, go ahead and let me know where you see the future of cybersecurity heading in the future down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.